What a fun project we have to start working on today. I'm so excited to get going on it. Uh, today we're going to start harvesting our birdhouse gourds. Uh, they look fantastic. So uh, let's get going and I'll, I'll show you what all the excitement is about. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead, and uh, I have some exciting time for you. Uh, we are going to go into the little tunnel that we have built for our birdhouse gourds, gourds uh, and I'm going to show you what all of my excitement is about. Uh, just looking at it right now, they look pretty pathetic. Um, it is at the end of their life cycle. The vines are all dying back. Most of the leaves are brown, um, and uh, it's, a, it's just about time for them all to be done. Uh, we're going to start today by just harvesting those gourds that are completely ready to come out of the garden, uh, those whose stems are dry and brown. Um, you know, we had absolutely no idea how successful these birdhouse gourds would be. Uh, they really have just exploded. And now that the leaves have been dying back, you can even see more and more of them that grew that we didn't know were there. Uh, there's also a real pleasant surprise for us inside of there. Um, I'll show that to you when, it, uh, when we get in there. Uh, but um, I had planted the seeds of another type of gourd that I thought did absolutely nothing. Uh, I didn't know they germinated. I didn't know they were growing. And, and all of a sudden we started uh, finding these fun surprises within the birdhouse gourds. Uh, so I'm super excited to show you what it looks like in there. I think you might actually fall right out of your chair. Uh, we gave a little uh, preview of this in our summer garden tour, uh, but things are just looking even more outstanding. So um, let's let's just go inside. I just I just can't wait to for you to see. Just come on. So look at all of these. Now, can you see how uh, excited I was to show you around? Uh, you know, I know that Kevin has a habit of, of uh, exaggerating numbers here, and I'm trying really hard not to do the same. But there have to be, I would say there's probably 70, maybe more, of these gourds all around. Now, they're not just in here. They have... They have extended to where we were growing butternut squash. They've extended that way to where we were growing cucumbers. It extended over on this side over here where we were growing more cucumbers. There's just birdhouse gourds everywhere. So uh, I do want to show you just really quickly an example of um, a birdhouse gourd that is ready to harvest and one that is not, okay? Um, now, if you saw my butternut squash video, uh, this is kind of the same deal here, okay? So you're going to take a look at the stem that is connected to the vine. And um, right back here, right back here, this little short, short birdhouse gourd here, up at the top here, the stem, the stem is completely brown and dry. This one is ready to come down right here. But right next door to it, this long one, you can see that it's starting to get a little bit brown here, but all the way up here, it's still green. It's still receiving nutrients and moisture and stuff back and forth from its vine right here. So this one is not ready. Now, uh, from what I've read, um, these gourds can withstand a small amount of frost. Uh, so we've had just a teeny amount of frost. I wouldn't even consider it like a real frost, but after the first decent frost, then we're going to harvest them all. We need to get started, but I don't want to forget to show you the surprise. The surprise for you guys and the surprise that was for Kevin and I. I'm super excited. They're down here. Well, they're all over, but I want to show you the ones down here because they're the most impressive. <laughs> Look. Look. Look, do you know what these are? Here, look, here's another one. Look over here, look at, look how long that is. Oop. Do you know what these are? These are loofah gourds. So inside of here, when this is done producing, it's kind of turning yellow now. They come out like dark green, like a cucumber. Um, they, uh, they will continue to die off and they will continue to get more and more yellow. And then the outside here will turn brown and it will kind of peel off 
and then the inside of here will all dry out and you can use this as loofah sponge. You can use it in the shower, you can use it on your dishes, you can just use it for general household cleaning. I'm super excited. So like I said, I planted a bunch of these vines and I had no idea that they actually came up because they looked so much like the birdhouse gourd vines and nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Well, it came to be like the end of August or September and we started finding a couple of them and we found one and then we found a second one and then we found a third one and I was like, okay, so three of them will probably be enough until next year when I can baby them a little bit more and pay more attention. Well. Like I said about the birdhouse gourds, as soon as the leaves started dying back, we started seeing more and more of them. And I can hardly even believe it. This, these aren't the only two. There, there are just a bunch of them all over. I, I bet there's a dozen, well maybe 10, but I bet there's a dozen of them. And I can like cut these into many, many different pieces and cut them in half and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe sell some of them, depending on how many we ended up getting. But this is a wonderful surprise. I'm super excited. Um, and I, I, with these need to wait a little bit more. Uh, these guys can handle a little bit of frost too before I harvest them. Anyway, now the exciting part for me and Kevin, we're gonna start harvesting some of these birdhouse gourds and see how many we have so far. We're only gonna harvest the ones that are ready to come down um, and then get them ready to store. Now birdhouse gourds, they need to dry out. And uh, some people that I've talked with said they need to dry out for like almost a year uh, before you can use them for decorative purposes. Now we're not gonna eat these. Uh, we are not really sure what we're gonna do with them. Uh, we're gonna find something. Uh, we've got some artsy fartsy people in the family. So maybe we'll paint on some, maybe we'll turn them into, I don't know, pieces of artwork. Maybe we'll sell some of them on Etsy, uh, in our Etsy store. Uh, but uh, I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of them to figure out what to do with all of them. Anyway, I'm excited to get started and to fill up the wheelbarrow and to see how many we get so far. So stay tuned. Now from what we've read is that you should keep as much stem as you can close to the vine. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this much. Apparently by leaving this much stem, it'll uh, prevent the, the gourd from rotting. Pretty amazing. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. How fascinating is that? So we picked today 32 of them. Um, I'm estimating that there, this is only one third of what's out there. Quite a bit of it isn't ready yet. So we'll uh, be monitoring those over the next few days, but I am super excited. Look how gorgeous they are. And uh, just different, every single one of them is different in just a tiny little different way. Um, I'm really excited. So uh, tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to wash each one of the, these in a, in a soapy solution with a, just a tad bit of bleach in there just to get out <clears throat> all the dirt and stuff. And when you do that, it uh, hopefully will prevent it from, um, you know, molding and decaying in a way that we don't want. Uh, so, and then we're going to put them um, in a closed in area um, in one of our unheated barns um, up where there's a lot of air circulation. Uh, so that they can uh, start drying. So not a bad start for our harvest of birdhouse gourds. Um, I, when we're done with everything, we'll at least let you know how many total we got for the year. And then uh, throughout the months and, and probably over the next year, we'll let you know what we're starting to do with them. Um, so uh, that's all for today. Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead, you guys. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe uh, by hitting the button below if you haven't done so yet. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. Until next time, you guys, uh, take care and God bless.